the floor to the next speaker. I am Frederick Omoy Madurge, representing the Nelson Mandela Human Rights Association. What is called colonialism in Africa is what I call the genesis of terrorism. Today, we have a new dimension of colonialism as African leaders continue to impose themselves in power and to steal and hide money in European banks. It took Switzerland 20 years of litigation and foot dragging before they reluctantly repatriated $1.4 billion stolen and hidden in their banks by the late Nigerian military head of state. General Sani Abacha. Interest from that amount was lost. Report shows that $1 trillion is stolen yearly by African leaders and hidden abroad, while Africans desperately try to escape from their various countries through the Mediterranean Sea. Today, Nigerian senators earn more than any European president because they ingeniously appropriate emoluments and earnings to themselves against national and international law. It is forbidden under paragraph two of Article 8 of the United Nations Convention Against Corruption for public officers to engage in self-dealing with, emol with emoluments that are unacceptable under international law. Nigeria is signatory to that convention. What Nigerian senators earn in four years is enough to build 18 hospitals in each of the 36 states of Nigeria. Sadly, President Muhammadu Buhari of Nigeria has spent 107 days in the United Kingdom to seek medical treatment without publicly disclosing his expenses, which he took from National Treasury. This is a government purportedly fighting corruption. Therefore, it is imperative on behalf of the European Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria to recommend as follows. One, that the EU and other countries must stop banking stolen money from Africa. Two, that the EU and other, African, and other countries must seriously consider placing travel bans on Nigerian senators and their families. Three, all financial assistance to Nigeria must be urgently reviewed. We receive financial assistance, we borrow, we receive astonish, astonishing revenue, we have unmatched natural resources, yet we have become the poverty capital of the world as cis Nigerians slide into poverty every minute, while 44 Indians get out of poverty every minute. Lastly, we, Africans must begin to seriously hold our leaders accountable. Enough is enough. Thank you.